That was just overly done, but well, I like it. Anyways, so, what happened today? Uh, I don't know, just like newsy type stuff. Like, the PlayStation 4! Oh my gosh, did you guys see it? Oh, I think I wet my pants. It was, I was at work, and I didn't, I have homework to do. Uh, I didn't uh, want to do anything, like when it came on. I live streamed the whole thing at work, and it was hilarious because I went to get something to eat, and I was like, oh man, it's five! And I busted out my phone, and I started live streaming it. As soon as I pulled into the parking lot, it started at work. And I went, I went, I had my food, and I sat down, and I was like watching it. And then my supervisor came in, he was kind of like, hmm. But what happened, with, what sucked was it went out. The live stream went out right before they unveiled it. Like, unveiled the controller and all that jazz. I was like, no! And then, uh... I started following the live, like, updates on some website through Twitter. Um, I don't know what the website was, but they were updating, like, every second. And I was, like, following it through there. They are posting pictures and stuff. So that was cool. And then I finally got the stream back when they started showing the video games. And I was like, oh, my God. So they showed uh, Killzone, Shadowfall. They showed uh, Drive Club. Then they showed a game by... Uh, if you ever played the game Brave, it's more of, it was an indie game that was really popular. It was about, like, think puzzle solving. I never got to play it, but I know a lot about it, because yeah, I saw it on the documentary. Um, uh, what was that documentary that I saw and I did Game Over or something like that? I don't know what the, the thing was called. It was a great documentary, and the guy from Brave was in it. He's making another game that's exclusively for PS4, which is awesome. And then they, uh, what else happened? Oh my god, it was just so amazing. Uh, they, Capcom, I think, came out. I'm probably not doing this in order. You can check out the things like on GameSpot or PlayStation.com or whatever. Uh, game, uh, Capcom came out and showed like this, it's called Deep Down or Down Deep or something like that. This awesome dragon game. And it's not like Skyrim, like, who is this is Skyrim, you know? I know a lot of people are big on Skyrim, and I heard it's awesome that I should play it. And maybe I will play it, I don't know, because dragons are awesome. But this one, I'm, uh, I don't know. There's certain games that I want to be a first-person shooter, like Call of Duty, stuff like that. But then there are certain games where I want to be third-person, uh, like Metal Gear right now. Metal Gears, Grand Theft Autos, stuff like that need to be third-person. But Skyrim, uh, I don't want to be first person fighting with swords. Uh, but this one is third person, and it looked amazing. Like, oh, he was just fighting and the, hitting the dragon, and it was, oh, it was awesome. So excited. There was some other games. They said that at E3, they're going to unveil the Final Fantasy for, for PlayStation 4, and... If you guys have never played Final Fantasy, wow, you don't know what you're missing. And a lot of people don't like it because it's not straight up, like, you're controlling the person. It's command buttons, whatever. Uh, but I thought it was stupid first at 2, and then I really got into it. And it's an amazing game. The stories are awesome. And to see it on PlayStation 4 is going to be awesome. And what is amazing about the PlayStation 4 that I saw or that I really enjoyed, and it's probably going to be very awesome for the video game channel, is that the PlayStation 4 is going to be, like, super social. Uh, your friends on your friend list are going to be able to watch you play video games from wherever they're at. That's freaking amazing. Uh, they're going to be able to comment on what you're doing. Uh, just saying like, oh, you suck. That is going to be like this so overly done trolling. Like all your friends are just going to troll the hell out of you all the time. So they're going to be able to comment on your playing. And if you want, if you are stuck playing a video game that you just do not know what the hell to do. And I say I'm watching you play video games. Uh, I can take over your game if you let me. Like, if you're like, alright, take over. I can take over and play for you. That is freaking... That's dope! Seriously? That's awesome. And, oh man, it's just gonna be... I think... it's If you're a, a gamer on YouTube and you have your own video game channel, I think the PlayStation 4 is gonna be something that is gonna let you connect that much more with your audience. 
And that is awesome. And I'm glad my video game channel is starting up. And hopefully I can build an audience. And then when the PlayStation 4 comes out, we can convert it and have an even better experience. And it will be a lot more social. And it will be all video games, which will be freaking sweet. So that is going to be awesome. There, of course, there are some downsides. But at, at the one major downside was that it's not going to be PS3 compatible when it ships. But apparently they're saying that they might like make an app for it to where you'll be able to download this app and be able to play your old PS3 games. Uh, I bought my PS3 that wasn't compatible like that. So I haven't played PS2 games in 10 years. So uh, that doesn't really bother me. You know, When I go to a new system, I just sometimes go into older games unless I really love that game, like Mario and stuff like that. Uh, some games I'm just like, oh, oh these graphics. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Mm, can't, can't do it. Um, just because you get so used to that new graphic setting and it's not as polished, blah, blah, blah. But there are certain games that have nostalgia and you just you play them no matter what. Ugh, I'm out of breath. I felt like there was more news that I needed to tell you guys. But I don't know. That's going to take up everything. Uh, the Metal Gear uh, Rising is freaking amazing. I noticed when I say my S, I go, freaking. Uh, <laughs> I noticed that today. Uh, but yeah. So, I, it, it, at first I was like, oh, this doesn't feel like a Metal Gear game. But then I really got into it, and I was like, oh, okay, now this feels like a Metal Gear game. Uh, so, uh, it's different. If you're expecting, like, Solid Snake and all that kind of stuff and those controls, nah. This is like a ninja game with Metal Gear graphics and Metal Gear story. And uh, it's like a, it's an awesome ninja game, because you can slice the hell out of anything, and that's awesome. Ugh. So, um, I got some things I need to take care of right now, but then I'm going to play that game later. I got to do some homework. Ah, that sucks. I'm going to do that right now. Or, not really. Probably not. And I gotta do my taxes, because I'm a grown-up, and I work, and I gotta do taxes. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and go. As always, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the Music Money channel, go subscribe to PlayStation, because the PlayStation 4 looks amazing. And if you like Xbox, and that's all you care about, suck it. <laughs> this is a PlayStation uh, vlog, and that's all it's about, because I love PlayStation. I don't know. And it's funny, because my friend Lucio, I know you're watching this, he said somebody said that the graphics don't look as good. <laughs> That's an Xbox lover. There's going to be so much hate when the Xbox come out. Every PlayStation fanboy is going to be like, Oh, that doesn't even look that great. And that's what Xbox is doing right now. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later. Bip!